what do you think? Ooh, that would be a great shade of eyeshadow. Clover, we're not cruising the cosmetic counter at the mall. This is a science lab, and I want to get an A. Well, here's something that's sure to rate an A plus on the social scale. Cool, a Halloween party with a costume contest. And a first place cash prize worth three totally cool outfits from the mall. <gasps> I hate to squash your hopes, girls, but I'll be winning that contest hands down. <laughs> Not with that costume, you won't. Excuse me, what costume? Oh, aren't you dressed as a wannabe teen queen today? Or were they having a sale on so two years ago at the mall? <laughs> oh! Alex, quick! <gasps> Hello. That must have been a real blast. Now let's get started. A renowned scientist was abducted from a U.S. military lab late last night. Where'd that weirdo in the hood come from? That has yet to be determined. The scientist's kidnapping is the third in a string of strange abductions. Who else was kidnapped? A military general and a surveillance expert, all from the same facility. Jir, the girls and I are in a bit of a rush to get to the mall and skim some great Halloween costumes. Can we skip the details and get right to the part about the mission thingy? Very well. Figure out how and why this hooded horseman is abducting these military experts. Then, stop him. So much for the costume contest. Yeah, Clover, looks like we'll have to put our dreams of beating Mandy on pause. I can multitask. Inside, you'll find your gadgets. Pogo bounce sandals, laser heat curling irons, all-weather umbrellas, head for cover hoverboards, a mighty fine expendable mascara brush, and last but not least, catfight gloves with retractable claws. Oh, now there's a gadget made for Mandy. Don't forget to say Geronimo. <laughs> For the past year, our team has been perfecting a high-tech, cutting-edge laser beam for the military. It's an electronic nullification device, otherwise known as the end. Cool! I mean, how interesting. We've examined the surveillance tape. It appears whoever took your colleague took the end as well. Well, if it's the end they were after, then they're gonna be mighty disappointed. The end can only be controlled by this detonator. Without it, the end is useless. We're in Beverly Hills anymore. Huh? Oh no! You don't think we're in the valley? <gasps> you guys, he's getting away! Here, collateral. Uh, uh! Bad horsey! Help! I'm being plundered by evil witches! Huh? We're not witches! We're from Beverly Hills! Tis our duty to our beloved king to rid the empire of evil witches. We're not familiar with these hills of which you speak. Apparently, Halloween came early this year. Ah! <sighs> that didn't go exactly as planned. At least we lost those goons. Now let's use our pogo bounce sandals to get out of here and find Clover. 
Data says you're in medieval England, circa 1136 AD. What? Wait a second. A hooded horseman, talk of witches, and a group of people who've never heard of Beverly Hills? <sighs> of course! We're stuck in the Middle Ages! Oh, my. Jerry, how are we gonna get back? We don't even know how we got here. I'm working on it, Clover. Please hurry, Jerry. We want out of this Dungeons and Dragons nightmare ASAP. Clover, are you there? I can't hear you. Jerry, wait! Come back! I'm supposed to be at a Halloween party tonight, and there's a big difference between fashionably late and MIA! Giddy up! Uh oh! Where's a girl's knight in shining armor when she needs one? My butt! A little mascara can go a long way. Don't those freaks ever give up? Quick, hide! with stealing from our beloved king? I've never stolen anything! Except maybe second base and co-ed baseball! We'll teach you that thievery will not be tolerated in his kingdom. Why do I get the feeling this is only gonna get worse? <laughs> Quick! Our laser heat curling irons can melt the chains! Clover's having more luck than we are. Must be one of those high-tech dungeons. <gasps> what the? How he gets back through time. Put them in the cell with the others. <gasps> Oopsie. Let me go! I've never seen anyone quite like you. Well, you probably don't hang out on Rodeo Drive much. You're right. I'm more of a Malibu kind of guy. I take it you're not from around these parts. A fashion sense and intelligent. When I become king, you'll make a great queen. Queen? Yes. 
You see, I come from a royal lineage of kings, and thanks to a goody-goody king from the Middle Ages, my family lost their throne and their wealth. Look, I'm sorry to hear that, but... I don't need your pity, because with a couple of crystals and some groundbreaking weapons, I've come back from the future to knock him off his throne and change the course of history. And you will be my queen. Ew. Okay, now you're starting to get all kinds of creepy. What are you doing? I'm going to use the end to destroy the king's castle, reclaim my destiny, and then <laughs> take over the world. Whatever. Ah! I've heard of acid rain, but not fire rain. Yeah, I hope when Jerry said all weather umbrellas, he meant all weather. A zillion weapons from the future? You never considered adding an SUV to your collection? Clover? No! Sam, we've got to do something to save Clover. The horsemen's put some sort of high-tech force field around them. Someone there? <gasps> wow! <laughs> uh -huh. Curb it! <laughs> Hand over the crown, or I'll destroy the rest of the castle, the entire village, and you! Huh? <laughs> You're no match for me! Now surrender! A king isn't made by sophisticated weaponry and intimidation. A king is made by the people who follow him, and no one will follow you. Yeah, whatever, pal. Just hand over the crown or I'll toast you. Um, if you're done with me, I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Guards! Take him to the dungeon, and move my equipment and the others to our new home. Not so fast, Queenie. I have a more fitting prison for you. We might not have a glowing protection shield, but these should do. Gotcha! <laughs> that dress looks lovely on you. It looks like something from the bargain bin. <laughs> And it smells like it, too. You're gonna need to lose the attitude, babe. My queen is all about obedience. Perfect. You're never gonna get away with ruling this kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom? With these weapons, I'm gonna rule the entire world. And when I get back to the future, I'll be worth billions. <laughs> These tin can dresses are harder to walk in than my six-inch platforms. Oopsie. Ouch! Close call. Yeah. Looks like a surveillance room. <gasps> Clover! Just go away. Leave me alone. Clover, it's us. Oh, you have no idea what I've been going through. This guy wants me to learn to play the harp, embroider silk tapestries, and eat peacock. How gross is that? I'm guessing he's got an even more despicable plan up his sleeve. Believe me, he does. He wants to make me his queen. And? And he's using crystals to time travel back to the past and change it so he can go back to the present and take over the world. 
So, what do we do to stop him? Apparently, his crystals control everything. If we can get to them and destroy his equipment, he's toasted. Let's see what Jerry thinks. The number's no longer in service. What? Jerry's gone, uh, and Whoop's gone too. If Whoop's gone, that means when the horseman changed the past, it triggered a chain reaction and changed the future. Oh no, that means Beverly Hills doesn't exist anymore either. We've got to change it back. Otherwise, I've got no chance at beating Mandy in that Halloween contest. You really can multitask. Let's go, we've no time to lose. This should do the trick. They make this look a lot easier on TV. Got it! Make sure you get the end. Where is it? There it is! Toronto! This kingdom is mine! Not if we have anything to say about it! Century, or any other for that matter, the crown is back where it belongs. Halt! These girls are not witches! The crystals, Clover! Use the crystals! You're here! Everything's back to normal. And the case is solved. Well done, spies. I wonder if I'll ever get to see that cute king again. And second place goes to Arnold as the periodic table of elements. Get ready for next! And first place goes to Mandy as a Beverly Hills style witch! I can't believe it. There's so many people I'd like to thank. First, myself for always being there for me. Second, um, myself for thinking this up. I demand a recount. You two are the judges? No one likes a sore loser, Clover. And face it, your costumes just aren't authentic enough. Forget it, Clover. These two Mandy clones know nothing about authenticity. Could this day get any worse? Actually, I think it just got a whole lot better. Wow! Hey, wanna dance? I'd love to. You'd think she'd be over kings by now. Who knows, Sammy? They say third time's a charm. 